Well, National Innovation Council is a great idea because uh, it is time that we say that the I in India is going to stand for innovation, not for inhibition, not for imitation. I in industry has to stand for innovation. I in every individual in India has to stand for innovation. Innovation has to become a way of life. And why? Because it is through innovation that we convert knowledge into social good, into private good, into wealth, and so on and so forth. If you see around the world, you have innovation becoming the big agenda. Even the ministries of science and technology are changing to ministry of science, technology, and innovation. I think the challenge in India is really not just generating innovative ideas, but their execution. And I think that is where Innovation Council can play a big role, because what we have seen, that Indians generate great ideas, and uh, they saw in creating enterprises and industries abroad. They have to be created uh, here. The wealth has to be created here. The social good has to be created here. That's the first point. The second point is about inclusive innovation. In a sense, we have to create wealth at the bottom of the pyramid. We have to create jobs. We have to provide those emotional experiences by creating products and services for uh, uh, these people. Uh, they have to be not only affordable, extremely affordable. You have to look at creating more from less, not just for more and more profit, more and more value to the shareholder, but for more and more people so that they can enjoy uh, the benefits like everyone else does. And that is going to be a major agenda for the National Innovation Council. The second important point is that when we talk about inclusive innovation, it is not just for including the excluded and the bottom of the pyramid. It is including everyone. That means everyone can innovate. It is not just the concept of a national laboratory. Nation is a laboratory. Because just as a billion people have billion mouths, they have billion minds, and they can create uh, great ideas. How do we capture those ideas? They could be grassroots innovators, artisans, farmers, schools dropouts, and so on. And we find, for example, through the National Innovation Foundation, how every year we get 100,000 plus entries, we select 30 of them, the president honors them. I believe that National Innovation Council should be setting up incentives and awards across the country, not just for a few enterprises or for, uh, for a few individuals, but the total participation of the entire country in actually identifying new ideas, taking those ideas forward by creating business plans, the private sector coming in, partnering, and completing this entire chain from mind to marketplace or concept to uh, commercialization so that it can make a difference to India.